Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to graph and find the intersection point in GeoGebra. The first thing you're going to do is go to this website, geogebra.org slash calculator. From there, I want you to press this sign in button. I already have an account, but you're going to have to press create account and either use your personal Gmail account or whatever personal email address that you have. I just want you to create an account so that your work is saved. You can remember that you can always use the email address that the school provides you. For me, since I already have one, I'm just gonna sign in. From here, I'm gonna get into graphing my two lines. Now graphing in GeoGebra is super easy all you do is enter in your equations into this bar here on the side. You want to make sure you're in the calculator option, algebra. So I'm going to type in my two equations from the example slides. Y equals 0.03x plus 400. And I just pressed enter and then y equals 0.015x plus 550, and press enter again. Notice that I switched my variables from t and s that I have in um, the slides to y and x. The reason I did that is because GeoGebra is gonna want us to use these two variables, y and x, just so that it can graph properly. You'll also notice that I'm not seeing any lines here on my coordinate plane. The reason for that is because my y-axis, it's only going between four and negative four. My x-axis is only going from 10 to negative 10. Our line is all the way here at 400 and 550. So we need to zoom out in order to be able to actually see our lines. An easy way to do that is to press this settings button, this little uh, gear tool, and then press zoom to fit. And that's gonna get us a lot closer to where our lines are. Now, all I'm doing is clicking and dragging to bring that intersection point into the center of my screen. We can kind of see where this is falling around 10,000 on our X and 700 on our Y. But we want to find the exact coordinates of that intersection point. To do that, I'm going to click this tools button with the shapes on this purple banner. And then scroll down to where it says more. Once you've clicked more, you're going to scroll back up and under this points header, you'll see intersect. It tells you exactly what to do. Select intersection of two objects successively. So I'm going to click one line and then the other line. And you can see here it populated this point as A. Next, you're going to want to click either this um, like mouse button or if you scroll up to the very top, you'll see the same button called move. Just click that move button. And then you're going to click that letter A. Once you, once you click A, this button is going to allow us to show the actual value of that point. So now we can see that our X coordinate is in fact 10,000 and our Y coordinate is 700. From here, you're gonna take a screenshot of this screen that we're seeing here. I'm gonna um, post another video that teaches you how to take a screenshot if you don't know how, and just insert it into your PowerPoint. 